Even when the stock market is going down, there are stocks that are hitting all time highs. Growth stocks can be volatile, but I believe in the end that investing in growth stocks is a lucrative endeavor, that it is worth it in the long run. There are two stocks that I wanna talk about that I believe should be on your radar because they are killing the market. Hello everyone, I am Colin and this is Harness Money. I am thankful for all of you being here. Go ahead right now and tap that like button and I will show you a picture of my dog, Dexter. The two stocks that I wanna talk about today are Asana and Upstart. Both of these stocks are hitting all-time highs and it's a little bit confusing because both of these stocks, they don't have the greatest financial fundamentals and they don't have the greatest revenue, but they are outpacing a lot of their competitors and there's a lot behind those gains and I want to get into it and dig into why these stocks are hitting all time highs. First up is going to be Asana. This stock is particularly confusing to me because I, I totally understand what they do and how they make their money and their revenue and their net income. But what I don't understand is why this one is outpacing so many other like companies. So many similar companies are not doing as well as this one. And Asana is a workflow business. They are a tech company. They are a cloud company. So I think that a lot of times companies rise together. So if one cloud company does well, then the group of cloud companies will increase in value. And I think some of that is happening here. I think Datadog has done well. I think Cloudflare has done well with their earnings and that is driving up some of the other players in the space. But the thing about Asana is that Asana has a lot of competition. There are a lot of other businesses playing in this space and their biggest competition is going to be Microsoft. I don't like when a business competes with Microsoft because man, Microsoft is just a tough, tough competitor. They have a very similar product to Asana that they offer through Teams, through their OneDrive, through their 360 offering, and that is a workflow system for businesses to develop new products. But Asana is proprietary. They have their own software that they use, and they are driving revenue. The reason that this company is hitting its milestones is because of earnings. I'll give you some numbers here. Asana right now is priced at $115 with a market cap of $20 billion. That to me is wild because GoDaddy, which has 2.5 billion in revenue and increasing, is not even close to this valuation. And Asana right now has revenue of $293 million for this year. Now that might not seem like a lot, 293 million, that's not billion. That isn't as much as so many other companies, but it is growing quickly. Often companies reach new highs, get to 52 week highs when they beat earnings expectations, when the expectations are set a certain level and they exceed it by a lot. Asana right now has beat earnings by 48%. They expect growth of 48% in the next year. That's a lot. That's a good amount of growth year over year. Now, that isn't as big as some other companies, but it's enough to move the needle for their share price, for Wall Street to recognize that this stock is playing in the space and that it is going to be a beast over time. Now, let's get into the second company because the second company is a little bit more interesting and that is Upstart. I think Upstart has a little bit less competition in terms of where they are targeting. Now, they provide loans, auto loans particularly, and there are a lot of people playing in that space, but, but the differentiating factor for Upstart is that they are using AI. They are using artificial intelligence to help provide loans to customers. So the start is going after several different business segments. They're going after businesses and they're going after consumers. They want auto lenders. They want people to provide loans through their program and they want those consumers. So they're kind of going after a bunch of different target audience 
marks and that is hitting it is resonating with the audience because right now the share price of upstart is 375 dollars that to me is amazing they are crushing it their share price just continues to go up even in this period where the market is going rel relatively lower and lower it's getting towards the end of the year people are less enthusiastic about the market right now generally towards the beginning of the year the market picks back up but right now it's a little bit slower over time but not for upstart they are crushing it their market cap is 29 billion dollars that is far, far ahead of some of its competition. And it is young, it is still growing. But the reason that it is growing right now is because they have $440 million in revenue and they are increasing tons each year. For the next year, it is expected that they are gonna grow their earnings by 51%. 51% earnings growth is really really good now every time that they do hit a new milestone that they do beat their earnings the expectations get higher and so they are going to have to consistently time and time again beat the expectations that's why google apple amazon have all done incredibly well while they while why they are trillion dollar companies is because they have consistently outperformed the estimates and they have had aggressive estimates so Upstart has a lot to live up to, but if it can execute, then it will be worth this valuation. But right now, I don't know if it really is because it's young, it's growing, it's hungry, but that's a pretty high valuation for a business that hasn't even cracked $1 billion in revenue. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. My conclusion is that both of these stocks, Upstart and Asana, are going to be growth stocks for the next two to four Years, that they are going to have massive growth in that time they are looking for scale they are trying to get their product out to as many customers as possible and trying to grow revenue so they are going to aggressively pursue those goals in the next two to four years and even maybe from the next four to ten years they still may be in growth mode and they won't be profitable it's gonna be a long time before these businesses are profitable but I'm okay with that because that means that they are taking all of their revenue all of their earnings and putting it back into the business growing that business big enough to where they have enough scale that they can then be profitable and they're not going to be paying dividends anytime soon so I look at both of these companies as great growth stories for the next two to four years that you should have on your watch list or that you should be investing into as a growth company. Thank you for watching this video. I am Colin and remember to make good money choices. Till next time.